Danish pastry is one of the most popular thing that you see on an English breakfast. It is eaten in breakfast as it is filling made with layers of butter and filled with jam. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and the ultimate baking series with me Chef Afraz. Today I'm going to show you Danish pastry. How to shape them and how to bake it. So let's quickly start. Oh yeah, I have croissant dough. Know the recipe you can log on to YouTube slash Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana as I'd made croissant in my earlier video. We are going to use the same dough to make Danish pastry but today I'm going to show you the different shapes of Danish, how it is made. So let's quickly roll this out. You can see many layers formed here and because of yeast, it is getting proofed. So let's quickly roll it out. So now I'm going to dust some refined flour on the work surface and then I'm going to start rolling this. You need to roll this into a thin rectangular sheet. So after rolling this out evenly, I'm going to take a pizza cutter and I'm going to cut the edges. Do not throw this as we can make one shape of danish out of this also. So after rolling out the sheet, I'm going to divide this into four parts. So I'm going to just mark it into equal four parts. And after marking it, I'm going to again cut this with a pizza cutter. And then also vertically, I'm going to divide this into three so that we get a nice equal square sheet. So now that we have cut the sheet into square pieces, now it's the time to shape them into danish. So now I'm going to show you different shapes. So the first basic shape where we need to bring these two edges together in the center. But before that, we'll just apply a little water so that it sticks. That's it. So I'm going to take this and place this over the baking tray. But before placing it, we need to grease it with little butter. And then just dust some refined flour. So that after when it is baked, it comes out easily. For the next shape, we need to cut the edges and bring it in, but not through and through. like this and then start from one end but first you are going to apply a little water in the center and then you start bring one edge inside and just make a dent in the center so that we can fill the jam in and there you go the second shape so let's place this also with the baking tray. Make sure that you keep some space in the center as they're going to prove. So now the next shape which we're going to do is first we're going to fold this into a triangle and then with a sharp knife I'm going to cut it like this and from here like this. Then you need to open this apply a little water on the edges And then bring one side and take this side. And you get a cavity here to fill the jam. So our third shape is also ready. Now as I was talking about the trimmings, the trimmings what you need to do is just turn it like this and then start rolling it from one end and this is a common shape which you see in hotels or restaurants during the breakfast so let's place this also over here one more simple shape is that you bring all the four edges inside
So this is one more very basic shape. So let's put this on the baking tray. And now one more very interesting shape, which is like a windmill. So again, let's cut from all the edges till the center. And then apply a little water. And then what we are going to do is, we are going to make a cavity in the center. So we'll just take the edges and bring it like this, not in the center, but on the opposite direction. And then the edges, I'm going to cut it again into half so that we get a nice shape. So now after shaping it, we need to cover it with a wet muslin cloth and keep it for proving for around 5 to 7 minutes. So now after 5 to 7 minutes, as you can see they have proved and this is the right time for them to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius. But before putting it into the preheated oven, I'm going to brush it with little milk on top on each of the danish. So that they get a nice golden color. If you are non-vegetarian, you can also give an egg wash. So now after giving a light milk wash, I'm going to place this in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 12 to 15 minutes. You can also pipe the jam now, but if you pipe it now, it's going to melt and disintegrate and your danish would look not too pretty. So after once it is baked, you can take this out from the oven, pipe the jam quickly and put it back in the oven for one minute and then they are ready to serve. So now as you see our danish pastries have perfectly baked and now is the time to put jam on it. So here yeah, I have mixed fruit jam and pineapple jam. And now you need to put this back into the oven for around one minute and then our danish pastry is ready. So now the danish pastry is ready, let's make a quick sugar icing. For that I'm going to take icing sugar around 2 tablespoon of icing sugar to which I'm going to add little milk and I'm going to whisk this nicely and once it is nice and smooth I'm going to fill this into a piping bag then I'm going to cut the tip Then I'm going to put the sugar icing over the danish. And now once they cool down, they are ready to serve. So now for the plating, I'm going to take a big plate. So there you go. Our lovely cute looking danish pastries are ready. Best to be eaten in breakfast. So do give it a try. If you like the videos that we share on YouTube, do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel.